all right guys this video will be for editorial purposes purposes uh only uh so this is giving you more content on why you're doing what you're doing with doors and windows uh so i didn't want to pile it all in one drawing and have you have these long videos i'll make this real short for you so what are we learning today is actual door schedule door window and how to indicate the rough opening for such uh today that's what you will learn and why you're learning it because it's important because you got to understand when you're laying out doors you got to make sure that you properly have the rough opening for the door to go in and the window you won't be putting that in probably somebody else probably coming into you behind you like a trim woman trim woman trim man and they will cut you out like crazy because of the fact that you have not left clearance for the opening in itself and you do not follow the door schedule that was out there you can get this information uh sometime from the door uh, schedule the door company itself or the window company and they'll give you that but you have it's a rough idea you got to keep a you got to have to have this just dollar per knowledge already and given um how do you know you learned it uh once the wind you how to learn is when you go out there and apply it in the real world um you actually have the door fits in snug easy and you get called back for another job that's when you know it's successful even when you're able to lay it out properly and then you won't have any hiccups when it comes in just laying the door in itself and the first time you attempt to do this, it's going to be super scary because, again, you're taking these concepts and you're learning something brand new. So you be kind of second-guessing yourself. Always measure twice and cut once. All right, let's get right into this thing. Some prior knowledge you need to know, again, we're going to use this template just to give you an idea of what it takes to figure out how to lay out just the door itself. The door is similar to the window because if you just think about this, you can actually, all it is is putting a bottom seal, bottom uh, cripples, right here so a door can become a window window become a door easily by just taking out and putting in a seal and a bottom cripple you know or standing the header as well so that's the common sense so i'm gonna stick on doors because again it's kind of coincide with one another um the ideas of it a little bit different calculation with this but this is more we going i'm gonna get on this soon as well but let's focus on the door all right so i came look at this thing and i want to split this in half so my door openings always coming from center and they're gonna give you a number like this i kind of did some math for you already they call it the 30. So they give you something called 30. That's telling you so it's uh how wide your door is. So your measurements all will come in like this, width and then width times height. 30 become first is your width, so which is this. Your height is this from here, right? So what they're gonna do is you gotta cause take take consideration the height as well. So they might say 30, and then you gotta look at the height, it's usually six foot eight. But then you got to add an inch and a half or two inches. Well, let me say this. They make it just rule of thumb. Give me a rule of thumb things, right? So it's two inches, six foot eight, but they give you two and a half. They give you two and a quarter more to the height. The rule I was using that fails was most likely to give you two, make it two and a half taller. So if I have a 3 0 door, my height is six foot eight, I'm going to add plus two and a half inches it's going to give me six foot ten and a half ten and a half right give you that option because what happens is it give you a quarter inch it give you another half inch play for the actual height of the door to get the door in there the door jam so it's our prefab door coming in there already established all right so this door opening is three foot so again for the opening of the door you need to add this is again, this is what they do in the trades. They give you, some folks go two inches more because you got to have a half inch clearance all the way around the door, right? So some guys and some girls go do this. They actually, they actually go a three foot three for the rough opening of the width of the door. But you got to understand that you got to take this number now and split it in half. So this actually becomes, if you're having a hard time, again, breaking this down, I always do this type of math is like you break it in closer which would be one foot six one foot six and this breaks down to inch and a half to an inch and a half right so now you take one of these and one of these and it becomes you add these two up so six plus one so it's one foot, six plus one is seven and a half. Let 
and that's what you're gonna split from here to here, here to there, to give you a, a rough opening that's gonna compensate for a door that is a 3-0, this is a 3 opening, rough opening. So in actuality, what it's gonna be is, you're gonna leave it three foot three for your rough opening. So from here to here is three foot three, from here to here, but half of that is one foot seven and a half. You may be asking yourself, what is one foot seven and a half? You see, you take your measuring tape out, that's 19 and a half. Sorry, one foot seven and a half. That's what it will be from each side of the door and give you a rough opening clearance for the actual door. And that's the half inch clearance and everything, the toe, uh, toe kick at the bottom. So you can get the sweeper in as well. And then you can actually clear the header and they can nail it to this as well with the half inch casing around it. So this actually comes out, if you want to say inches, 19 and a half inches. So just keep it really simple. Don't want to get too deep into it again. Just run back again. You get a door, they're going to probably say it's a 3 0 door. You got to understand that's a 3 and it's 3 0 door. It says, that's saying it's 3 foot by 6 foot 8 inches. You got to take in consideration again, the rough opening has to be double that size to compensate for things like shims and drywall and half inch clearance all around this opening itself. So I'm telling you again, your number is not going to be, your rough opening is not going to be three foot six eight. You're going to have to add two and a half inches to the height. You're going to have probably add two inches or, uh, or inch and a half or uh, three inches to the door with the, with, with the door width. Rule of thumb, most folks use three foot three for a three old door. And that's, that gives you an inch and a half on both sides. So you clear the door openings and everything else, shelves and drywall and a stud, uh, the thickness of the actual door itself. All right, which is usually an uh, inch and three quarters. So by doing this method, it gives you the opening clearance for that. Now to break down the math, which I told you right now, this from here, to here, and then here to here. You're walking off centers, working off centers. You have to understand that you're going to come actually inch and sixteenths, all right, one foot six, one foot six, right? Breaking this down, the three. And you want to add an inch and a half to it. So it'll be one foot seven and a half, which is 19 and a quarter, 19 and a half. This be 19 and a half both ways. This way and this way. Just so you can get this door in there.